Good morning where you are. How are you? <laughs> Doing good. Just waking up, actually. <laughs> yeah. Tell tell everybody where you are this morning. Well, I'm in uh, Maui in Kihei. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you'll be jealous of we're jealous of you, but they're trying to open some ski mountains here in Maine this weekend. So I know exactly. I've been seeing all the pictures of the loaf of making snow, and I, I'm headed back midweek next week. So I'm hoping to be able to get on snow when I get home. I always love to hear about your uh, your adventures, line of descent, uh, coming back with Warren, with Warren Miller. Where did he? Where did Warren, Where did they take you this time, Seth Westcott? Well, we uh, we went down to the South Island in New Zealand in July. Um, we had originally been planning on going to Alaska, but had Alaska had its worst snow year on record, and so we ended up canceling on the last minute and rolled the dice that we had our fingers crossed it would snow down there this summer. And uh, we're in the Mount Cook Alraki National Park. Uh, Doing some helicopter stuff and some and some split boarding and touring all around there and just ended up having like three storm cycles in the two weeks we were there and mm-hmm. it turned out to just be phenomenal. What's your what's your plan on the winter? Will you be back? Uh, will you be back home? Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Um, yeah, I I'm actually I'm back home next week. I'm going to be there in Portland for the premieres. Um, working on some house projects up in Carabasa mm-hmm. and then. Uh, December 1st, I head over to Austria, uh, for a training camp with the U.S. team and do the first couple of Olympic qualifiers and just kind of see how that's going. You know, I, I definitely love to be able to represent the team in, uh, in South Korea in February. And, wow. um, I, I did kind of half the World Cup schedule last year just to have, you know, to earn myself the start spots for the qualifiers this year. But we, we do our qualifying as a nation kind of right down to the last minute they want you to go in there feeling hot and so yeah so that's that's the plan for december january and then uh working on getting some avalanche certifications the rest of the winter um we've got a plan already for next year's warren miller movie which i can't (laughs) talk about yet but (laughs) um and then uh you know, hosting this year will be my eighth annual uh, Banks Hall event that I host at Sugarloaf in yep. March. So doing that and then chasing a couple of the other big Banks Halls around the world, the, the Mount Baker. I think this is the 32nd annual year for that. And i uh, going to go try out a new one that's uh, developed in Japan, which has um, gotten really big as well. So, I, I, yeah, it's, it's a busy year. And um, being a dad is definitely cutting. I'm trying to spend more time at home. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. I can take some of the workload off my wife, and then, uh, yeah, but it's uh, looking forward to another great winter and looking forward to being home in Maine. That's good. Fire still burns competitively for you as, a, a, oh, as yeah. much as it ever has, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's a little different now. I'm the oldest guy on the World Cup, so mm-hmm. it's kind of it's a, it's a little funny being in that position. But, in you know, I think Olympic cycles-wise, this is definitely the last go-around for me. But there's... There's a lot of other, um, you know, organically in the sport, uh, the whole world of these bank slalom races, which were what the original snowboard competitions were, yeah. have really had this huge regrowth. And it's a, it's been a great thing for the grassroots um, level of the sports that, you know, you have, you know, from five and six year old kids up to 60 and 70 year old guys doing it. And so it's for the community of snowboarding, it's really become a cool thing. And so there's there's a bunch of kind of profile ones of those around the world that, you know, because I've been on World Cup for so long, I haven't been able to go do. So I'm really looking forward to those in the next few years. Seth Westcott, as always, it's great to talk to you. Enjoy your day in Maui. I will. <laughs> we'll, we'll see I'm hoping you. that snow is piling up on Sugarloaf. <laughs> we'll see you in Portland soon, man. Thanks for the time.